have to, as citizens, be able to document our experiences so to protect ourselves and others when we are required to go to court. And if we don't have that ability, then we don't have the ability to act uh, as citizens in a democracy. That's a basic necessity to be able to gather information in public to bring to court and to the court of public opinion as well. Well, well Chris, based on your experience here, uh, let, let me give a hypothetical to you. We're standing out in front of the, uh, the court building here and there's a lot of policemen. There's a lot of policemen in the facility, in the, in the, uh, in the vicinity. If one of them were to walk up to us right now, while I'm recording, what would happen to me? Well, theoretically, they would have the ability to walk up to you and say a few words and then arrest you for having audio recorded those few words, even if it was a simple command. Uh, but I didn't initiate that. I mean, in my, in, in my hypothetical, they could just walk up here. Well, the way they're prosecuting me, uh, they're claiming that they have that ability to do this. And if this stands and I am convicted in this case, then they are, that's evidence that they have that ability in the state of Illinois. And so we're testing this. We're the test case for you, the public, to uh, change this law so that we have our basic right to gather information in public about what our public servants do and say in public while they're serving us. And we're having the free speech artist movement is, is going to party September 24th through 26th at the American Indian Center and uh, invite you, the public, to make your comments along with the comments of others from around the nation that have been made on websites that are promoting, that are talking and writing about this issue from various cases around the country. We're not alone. There are cases in Maryland and in Massachusetts that relate to this very issue. There are three major states, uh, there are three states that are in a major way pioneering the effort to take our basic rights away. And so my case is one of the best test cases on this issue. And we're going to find out which way this nation wants to go. Are we going to a uh, state of complete repression where you don't have the right to gather evidence on what police say to you in public and only the state is allowed to do that? And then you can beg for that evidence back to bring it to court? Or are you going to be able to gather the evidence yourself and bring it to court yourself? to protect yourself and others that you know or may have met in public.